hi everyone welcome back to my channel so for today's video i'm going to be reviewing the essence pretty natural hydrating foundation so this says that it comes with hyaluron and aloe vera it's 24 hour long lasting hydration it's in the shade neutral champagne i don't know if this is my shade i've got tan on so it might be okay it says hydrating foundation with hyaluronic acid and aloe vera 24 hour long wear finish and lasting moisturization with a natural coverage finish and weightless skin feel and it's vegan that's what it says and then in it there is 30 ml of product to put it to the test i mean i'm not going to wear it for 24 hours but i'll wear it till the end of the day when i do go to take it off i really like the packaging i've bought something from essence before not many things but yeah the packaging's really nice and then when you open it it says you are pretty on the back part so i think that's really cute all right the bottle looks like this so it's obviously a squeezy tube bottle and i'm really hoping that this is gonna be nice and hydrating because that'll be great but i'm gonna do what i'd usually do so I'm going to prime with the marshmallow primer as I have been doing recently. Just rub that in. I'm going to prime both sides, but I'm going to apply one side with a sponge and one side with a brush to see if it makes any difference. I did already apply my SPF this morning. So I've just applied my primer. So now I'm going to test this out. I'm going to put some on the back of my hand. That's an okay colour actually. I mean I don't know how much I need. Because it says it's a natural coverage but I don't really know what that's supposed to mean. So it is quite liquidy. As you can see it's running down my hand. Take some on my peaches brush and put it on this side of the face. It smells quite fresh which is nice. It's not too like, it doesn't smell of like paint which is not nice when you're wearing foundation. Mmm, that's nice. You can see how glowy my skin is. So it's definitely hydrating and it does feel like cooling on my skin. I think it's because it has got aloe vera in it and I think that's kind of quite a cooling thing to put on. So it does feel really nice. It's applied really nicely and I get what it's saying. It is a natural coverage so it's not really full and in your face. It makes it look like skin. I've put that on and my skin just looks normal. But I have used the majority of that pump. There's still some left. I'm just going to take the rest of that and put it on the rest of my face and then get some more. I have realised that I do prefer applying foundation with a brush because these just soak up way too much product. It like, just takes away the coverage. And if this has got a natural coverage... It's going to even take that away and that's probably classed as like a light coverage. So you definitely can tell here. So I'm using the Real Techniques Beauty Blender. You can tell by my blemishes. By my blemishes that my skin is just like not covered enough. This is why I like using the, the brush. I use a brush first and then if I need to blend any more then I use a sponge. So I am just going to put a little bit more my cheeks and blend it in with the brush you just get so much more coverage when you're using like a buffing brush like this okay so it's definitely buildable i'd say it doesn't say that it's buildable but i am just gonna apply a little bit on my cheeks just because i've got like quite a few blemishes around my cheeks i think that is like a good shade for tan because I can just like bronze up if I need to. That is great so far. Really nice coverage, even though it says natural. Really glowy and hydrating. Like a bit tacky. Obviously, it's a bit tacky because I have just applied it, but we'll need to set this like it doesn't dry down. But if it's a hydrating one, you wouldn't expect it to like dry down, else it probably would be matte. I'm just going to apply the rest of my liquid products i think i might do my eyebrows a bit differently i'm really liking it so far 
This was only £5 as well, so it's really good. I've seen a lot of people speak about Essence and how like good their products are. But I've literally only tried like one thing from the brands. So let's set now. So I'm going to be using the Morphe Bacon Set Powder. And then I am just going to dust some powder over the rest of my face. Did freshly shave my face as well yesterday. The best it will apply. That is the foundation all set down. In this light it does look quite yellow in the camera. But it's not actually that yellow in person. Um, my neck is a little bit patchy and a little bit darker than my face but obviously I'm going to bronze and everything so um, I'm going to come back when I've finished my face so I'm back guys uh, done my full face I've literally just put a bit of eyeshadow on some mascara done all my powder products and then I've just done like a nude lip so what I'm going to do now is kind of do a wear test I'll test it for the rest of the day and then when it comes to the evening I'll jump back on and I'll let you know how it's holding up if how my skin's changed if I've got any oilier any drier if it started removing itself you know when you get oily and it kind of separates so yeah I will see you a bit later on hi guys so I thought I'd just come on and say that it's been about two and a half hours now and my makeup's still looking really nice so this is what it's looking like obviously I've got blemishes so that doesn't matter but showing real texture <laughs> so actually nothing has transferred or came off yet which I'm glad about because obviously it says 24 hour hydration so that's what we're hoping for my skin does feel doesn't feel dry it feels great really and i haven't gone usually i go quite oily in my t-zone but it hasn't actually done it yet but obviously we'll wait till later on i'm going to keep it on as light as possible probably till about 11 p.m 11 half 11 something like that because i did apply it at two o'clock which is quite late so i'm trying to do like literally all day and then take it off just before i go to bed um which i don't usually do <laughs> i take it off a couple of hours like before and give myself time to relax with no makeup on but we're doing it for the youtube <laughs> Um, so yeah, this is what it looks like at the moment. Really, really nice. I just really like how it looks on my skin. I don't know if it's to do with the powder I'm using as well because I do really like that Morphe powder. So it could be that as well, but I don't know. Could just be the foundation. It's really good. <laughs> I have actually been doing a lot of cleaning in the house. So I have been like r running around doing things. So I have like been sweating a little bit but it hasn't actually shown up I always get a runny nose so I did use a bit of tissue like under my nose but you can't actually tell all good we'll see you later on when I'm about to remove it and then we'll see I'm, r I'm trying really hard not to touch my face because I want to be like leaning on my face and stuff and that's probably why foundations come off but yeah I'm trying and we'll see you later on. Hi guys, so it is now 22.56. So this has been on since, well my lips, this has been on since about 2pm. That's like nine hours, is that right? Yeah. So um, what I'm going to do is put the flash on and show you what it looks like. This is what we're looking like and it's actually still really intact all that's came off is obviously my lips you can just see like the top part of my lip liner but my skin is looking great it's slightly come off my chin but that's because of, i have touched it a little bit but i am really impressed with this foundation it literally it doesn't look like i've had it on for hours at all like i know i've not done the full like 24 hours but i'm not gonna sleep in my makeup um but this is like good for me because i tend to have makeup come off like around my nose and stuff but to be fair 
I don't know if it's like a good combination with this and the Morphe powder that I use. So it could be that as well, but obviously you just don't know. I'm just like going off my routine and what I do. I'm not going to like obviously change it for the foundation else that would be like stupid but I'm really impressed like I'm not that oily in my t-zone either like usually I look really oily like in between my eyebrows there's a little bit of shine there but nothing too too bad and considering it's a hydrating foundation that's really good because you'd think that it would make you more oily yeah you can tell that I obviously haven't topped up because my lips look terrible I look like I've got a moustache so yeah I, to be honest I was lying here for a bit because usually I would have taken my makeup off by now and I'd like scratch my eyebrow and then I'd be like oh like whoops <laughs> I've still got makeup on my bronzer and highlighter and everything it's all still intact and not like patchy at all so I'm really enjoying that kind of the end of the video really um I'm giving that like a 9 out of 10. I'm giving it not a 10 just because I've not done the full 24 hour test. Well it kind of says long lasting hydration for 24 hours so it's basically is claiming that it can stay on for 24 hours but after 9 hours this is like really good especially for me like it would have gone like it would have come off my chin probably like around my nose considering I get quite an irritated nose it, it's still like intact so yeah that's it for this video i really hope you enjoyed if you want to see more videos like this then leave any suggestions in the comments and please don't forget to subscribe and like this video and i'll see you in my next video bye guys